is going on everybody my name is Connor but you guys can call me superior today you guys are going to be watching a gameplay that is very similar to a gameplay that I uploaded a few weeks ago which was 116 kills on the map terminal in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 now this gameplay I would say is even better than the 116 kills that I got while playing with a full party in ground war this gameplay and or anyway a little bit about the other gameplay it is a lot easier if you aren't if you aren't already aware that when you are playing with a full team it is a lot easier to kind of control what flags you have and control the enemy spawns and control your own spawns and kind of puts you in a much better position to get more kills and more kill streaks and whatever it may be to kind of help you get that 100 plus or moab in this case whatever it is you're going for so when you are playing solo or in this case just with one more person in your party um, you know, that kind of leaves a bunch of other randoms on your team that Call of Duty randomly placed you with to kind of um, not be able to control the randoms and they pretty much do whatever they want. So you need to, it takes a lot more skill, in my opinion, to get a, a solo gameplay or playing in a smaller party just because there's not as much control that you have to kind of decide where the enemy spawns and decide what flags you have and that's also a big thing. If you can't control what flags you have, then the game can end a lot quicker or... Um, you know, whether it be winning or losing than you initially expected. And that and that kind of takes away a lot of the time that you have to go for the chem striker 100 plus kills. So I think that even though this is 14 kills less than 116 kills that I got previously, uh, I do think 102 kills is much, much, much more impressive considering there's only one other person in my party. And I don't even think I got a chem strike in this gameplay, but it is extremely fast paced. You know, me constantly rushing around, constantly trying to find enemies. Or if I, if I already found enemies, then I'll be balls deep in their spawn. Just absolutely going ham. Now, I am using the ACR in this gameplay, and the ACR is obviously one of the better weapons in Modern Warfare 3 and for that reason it's pretty much why Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 was one of my favorite Call of Duties as I'm sure you guys are aware of by now that is my favorite Call of Duty but um, I was kind of thinking of it other than like the new things they added like specialists like why why what other reasons could this possibly me be absolutely in love with this Call of Duty you know why and it kind of hit me is that all the weapons in this game I love them to death like the ACR feels amazing you know i love the red dot sight in this game i love i love the way the suppressor feels and i love the gold camo more than anything just because it wasn't absolutely insane and like the most difficult thing ever to unlock like it was kind of in black ops 1 because you would need to be like 14th prestige and have like over 50,000 cod points so it made it it made it a an absolute feat to be able to get that camo but it, i think what they did right in modern for 3 was they were able to put it where it was difficult to unlock but definitely reasonable so if you played for it for a di played with the gun for a day or two you know you would be able to unlock that sexy golden camo and you know the acr is a great gun in this game um the mp7 is a fantastic light or submachine gun my bad that um has amazing range and low recoil so i just think that the guns in call of duty ghost are good but i don't think that they compare to what they were in older games like Black Ops 2 had a bunch of good ones. I really enjoyed the MSMC, the M8A1, the A94. You know, we're all very high damage, low recoil weapons. Now, I know when I say high damage and there aren't any really high damage weapons in Call of Duty Ghost, you may kind of go like, whoa, are you kidding me, Superior? You know, you'd literally die in two shots in this game. Every single gun is high damage. And, you know, that since every gun is such high damage and you'll die in about four to five is shots mostly about four three to four um then it kind of it makes all the guns kind of more balanced and a lot of the guns are high recoil in this game and it seems like in modern for three a lot of the guns were evenly balanced in the recoil like the acr was extremely low recoil the mp7 was extremely low recoil but in this game you know you have weapons like the ak-12 and we don't have grip on it i i don't know if it's just me but i can't seem to aim that aim that whatsoever and the honey badger seems to have a pretty high recoil if you don't have like grip or red dot sight on it and there aren't many weapons that excel at close range and as well as long range so um you know i think modern for three is a lot more weapons that you can be more versatile with and you can play a lot of different play styles like the mp7 you know it get, allows you the mobility of being able to rush around in the enemy spawn but kind of giving you the range to be able to kind of have a chance at more long range gunfights it definitely definitely medium range gunfights the gun would still be amazing but at long range it would kind of drop off but you know if, if you had the if you had good enough aim then you'd be able to get the kill but 
Um, Call of Duty Ghost, I just think that the weapons in it aren't up to par with what they were in other Call of Duties, and hopefully with the next Call of Duty that comes out that is being made by Sledgehammer Games, hopefully they can fix that and um, just make an absolutely perfect Call of Duty, which deep down in my heart I know won't happen, but uh, you know, year after year we all hope that the next Call of Duty is perfect and uh, we're always let down, so you know, why would this year be any different? But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a comment down below letting me know what your favorite, your absolute favorite weapon in any Call of Duty ever has been, whether it's from uh, World at War or Black Ops 1 or Modern for 3 or whatever it may be, just drop a comment letting me know because I am really interested in seeing what other guns people use besides the one I use personally. So uh, please leave a like if you guys enjoyed. It really does help me out. It shows you know, shows that you guys are loving and supporting my content, which means the world to me. Drop a comment telling me what your favorite gun is. Subscribe if you guys are new and follow me on Twitter. Link for that will be in the description. Other than that, have a fantastic day, everybody. I am out. Peace.